My name is John Rust, and today we're going to walk through onboarding a fresh install of Kribble with data. We're going to forward syslog data through to Splunk. Uh, in the upper right-hand corner, you can see our Docker Compose file here. It's pretty simple. The only modification is forwarding 8514 UDP through to the container. So let's bring up that instance. Come back over to the browser here. We're going to log in with admin admin, default username and password. We want to add a new source, so we're basically creating a syslog server here. We're going to add a new one. Uh, we'll give it an ID of lab, and we're going to use port 8514. That's what my engineers told me we're sending syslog data on. And just like that, we've got a syslog server up and running. Uh, let's point it to dev null for now. We don't actually want to do anything with the data, so we're just going to point it to dev null at this point. We can test to see. So this is what's coming off the wire. We can see exactly what's being delivered to us. I'm going to save that as a sample file so we can refer to it in a moment. While I'm on this screen, I'm going to also add our destination. Splunk. We're going to call it lab as well. Splunk.home. And just like that, we have a connection to Splunk. We can test it out by going back into configure, hitting the test tab, and running the test. Excellent. We got a green check mark and success. So we are successfully talk, talking to Splunk. Now my team has told me that we need to deliver to the syslog index. So in order to facilitate that, I'm going to create a new pipeline. We'll call it lab as well. And we're going to add an eval function. So this is just like the eval function in Splunk. We're going to add a field. Now we're calling it syslog. So we're going to add this index field to the events as they come through. We can check that with our sample data here that we caught earlier. So this is what it looks like coming in. And this is what it looks like leaving this pipeline now. We've got the index equals syslog field added. Let's go back to Quick Connect. Click on our connection here. We're going to add a pipeline. That's our new pipeline we just created. And now all that data on its way to this destination is passing through our pipeline. We can see that this is live data now. You can see we've got that index equals syslog value added there. Let's connect this up to Splunk instead. So now we're delivering to Splunk just like that. If I hop into my Splunk tab, run a search, bada bing, we've got our data. Uh, one problem, you notice this gap here. We're delivering data in the past. Uh, it looks like this timestamp is an Eastern timestamp and we're in Pacific. So let's fix that up. We're going to go back into Cribble, into our pipeline. We're going to add an auto timestamp function. It's built in, included with the system. We're looking for a timestamp in raw. It'll find the first one it finds, and it's going to extract it into underscore time. Change you want to make is we're looking for New York. So America, New York, hit save on that. We can check our work in the preview window. This looks much better. It's current time. If I hop over to Splunk, excellent. We're now delivering now, now, not then, now. We can also see all this index time data that's included with the event. We probably don't want to duplicate a lot of this work. We've already got time. We really don't care about severity of facility. In this use case, we really only want the message, which is handy extracted right here. Let's clean up this event for optimization purposes. So I'm going to take that auto timestamp and move it up to the top. So it's the very first thing we do before we do anything else. Under eval, I'm going to tell Cribble to drop the facility fields drop the severity fields, drop the proc ID. Our team just doesn't use those at all. And then I'm going to add a rename function to rename that message field, replacing the raw field with its contents. So we're renaming message as raw. When I hit save here, you can see a lot of changes. So all these fields have been dropped. Message is no longer in existence. Raw has uh, now been replaced with the contents of message. And if I go over to, uh, to Splunk, you can see the results. So now we're delivering much more succinct messages. Uh, our index is appropriate. All those index time fields have been cleaned up. And Kribble can give me a hint as to how much we're saving. So we're saving about 37% of our volume coming through the system now. I hope this video was helpful for you to see how easy it is to onboard data into 
Cribble, and we'll talk to you next time.